All right, folks. Um, hey, thanks so much for those of you all joining us on the other side um, or might be listening to recording one of the two. Um, we appreciate you being here. Um, we've got uh, five wonderful universities and colleges going to uh, present to you this evening. My name is Earl. I am your facilitator for this evening um, and uh, would like to just welcome you here. Um, I want to remind you of a couple things um, as I show my screen in front of you all. Um, so your camera and microphone are off. Um, in the toolbar feature, the Q&A function is the best way to communicate with the representatives on the screen. Um, you can direct something to the whole group or one person in particular. Um, and then uh, the recording of this particular session will be um, uh, available at strivescan.com backslash Texas. So beyond that, I want to just point us out to the C2 section at the top. Um, other than Reed College, everybody else has checked in. So um, let's just uh, uh, make sure that we know who uh, is on the screen. Um, and then those on the other side, I just want to make sure that you um, join us at the very end for some wrap up. Um, we'll have a few wrap up questions if, time's allow if time allows um, and, and so forth. So um, everybody else can disappear off screen except for Derek. Um, yeah, uh, there you are. Um, Hey, thank you for joining us. Um, I will be back and forth to help facilitate this through to our uh, uh, all five presenters. Um, other than that, um, Derek, off you go. Grab the screen if you would. Perfect. Thank you, Earl. Awesome. Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Derek Nagley, and I am your admissions counselor here at Pacific University. So I get to start us out tonight. We're gonna to start out at a small private school up in the Northwest corner of Oregon. So those of you coming in from Texas, you'd fly into Portland, one of the top airports in the US, and then you'd be able to take mass transportation right out to the edge of campus right here in Forest Grove. We're about 35 minutes from downtown, about an hour from the Oregon coast. So what you're really getting where you're coming to in Forest Grove is that connection with the big city, having Nike, Intel, Columbia right nearby campus, but also being able to get into the beautiful mountains, coast range, which you can see right behind me, out to the Oregon coast and explore all those things that the Pacific Northwest has to offer. So really you're being able to have that adventure in a smaller town on a smaller campus and being able to get the top tier education while you're doing it. And at Pacific, we have over 75 different majors, minors, and programs. Uh, we're best known for like the health professions, pre-physical therapy, pre-optometry, but we also have nationally and regionally ranked creative writing, education, social work, and um, a brand new sports management and sports communication degree. So you're gonna find a little bit of everything while you're here. And the great thing with Pacific is when you apply to our school, it's a full liberal arts university and you don't have to know your major when you come in. In fact, you aren't even applying into a specific school or a specific program, you're applying to Pacific. And then we treat all students as they're coming in with that honors level education, you don't have to apply into a separate honors college, but that you get that opportunity as a student, no matter which of those 75 different programs you choose. And with our 2000 undergraduate students, about 2000 graduate students, we are a smaller campus, but that means you're gonna be able to have a small class where you interact with the professors. Our average class size is only about 19 students. Our biggest lecture hall only seats 60 students. That's as big as they get. And at Pacific, no matter which program you choose, 100% of the classes are taught by professors. So there's no TAs doing any teaching which means you're getting top of the line education, no matter any of those programs. And in those small classes, you're gonna get called on. The professors are gonna know your name. And at Pacific, we give our students a four-year guarantee, which means in and out of Pacific in four years, no fifth year, six years of victory laps, but you get that education, you get to take that next step and you get to do all those things you love while you're there. And at Pacific, we also know that that resume is just as important as that degree. So we're gonna help you build that up starting freshman and sophomore year, not waiting until you're a junior or senior. And as the top private research university in the Pacific Northwest, that encompasses all of our majors. Whether you want to do a research project in a lab for the sciences, or you want to create your own works and publish it in our in-house publishing company here on campus, all of our students are going to be able to spend time working in their field. 
which is why you can see that those students, 93% of them, even in the craziness last year, were able to have a job, be on an internship track, or be in grad school within six months of graduation. And we're very proud that that was able to continue to stay very high. We also know our students need an escape. So we give all of our students the opportunity to join in, whether that's our different clubs and organizations for any identity affiliation or talent that you might have that you wanna to continue to build while you're here at Pacific. Or maybe that means joining our Hawaii club. So one really unique thing with Pacific is about 15% of our students come from Hawaii and they put on the largest student run luau anywhere on the mainland US. So you as a student coming from wherever you are in the US, you can actually join the Hawaii club and actually join in a luau as part of your education here at Pacific. Or maybe that means continuing on with music or dance or theater or talent you have. You do not have to major or minor in those programs to participate. They are addition based, but you get to participate in all those things you love and build up those talents while you're here. And for those of you interested in athletics, we offer 24 varsity, 28 intramural and 10 club sports. Our varsity sports are played at the um, NCAA Division III Northwest Conference level. So you're still gonna be able to compete at a really high level. And actually about a third of our students are athletes. So you're gonna see a lot of this on campus where you do four or five different things all at the same time. We also want our students to take not just those resume building internships, but those skills you're learning in the classroom into the real world. So for some of you that might mean exploring more in the Pacific Northwest, through our Outdoor Pursuits Office. For some of you, that mean, means exploring a little bit further abroad with our study abroad classes, which are traditional and two to three week travel classes. So you're gonna have a lot of different opportunities to choose from there. Or that might mean giving back, whether that's through a community service group here on campus, locally in the Forest Grove area, or maybe doing one of those two to three week travel classes and actually going somewhere else in the world to help solve a problem and use the skills you have to build on that as well. And to do all of that, we do want you to apply to Pacific. So we are Common App uh, exclusive. It's the only application we use and ours is completely free. Again, you're applying to Pacific, not to a specific program or a specific major, but you get to apply to Pacific. And the great thing is we have no in-state or out-of-state tuition and no in-state or out-of-state scholarships, which means you are in the exact same playing field as those Oregon students, no matter if you're coming from Texas or not. And at Pacific, when you apply, you're also applying for our academic merit scholarships, which are guaranteed for four years and range from $15,000 to $27,000 per year for the full four years you're here. You have the opportunity to earn scholarships for things like music, dance, theater, speech and debate, robotics, leadership, and you can apply for those in addition to your uh, scholarships. And finally, for those of you who are seniors and want to learn a little bit more, because I know this is a lot of information really fast, we offer senior preview scholarship days, both in person and online that you can sign in, learn a little bit more about campus, talk to current students and professors, and earn an additional $1,000 a year in scholarship. So thank you all for listening about what it's gonna take to become a boxer. As I mentioned, I'm your admissions counselor, so please feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. I'll also put my contact information in the chat, and I look forward to working with you guys in the future. All right, perfect, thank you so much. So, um... Jerica, are you there from the University of Montana? I see you. There you are. Awesome. Hello. Yep. Yep. Um, I am ready for you to start. So off you go. Okay. All right. So the University of Montana. Um, it's going to be located in Missoula, Montana. So we're going to be up in the northwest um, part of the country. Um, Missoula sits in the western part of Montana. <clears throat> so it's going to be up in the mountains. Um, so for those of you that maybe aren't 100% sure still, um, we're in the Rocky Mountain West. Um, and we are a bit of a ways from Texas. So for those of you wondering about an airport, we do have one about 15 minutes away from campus. It's a pretty easy commute. And we do have direct flights all over. So if students and parents are worried about getting home for um, events on the weekends, Christmas break, Thanksgiving, all of that, um, we can definitely get you home for all of those things. Um, so life in Missoula, um, we're the second largest city in Montana. Um, so our population is a little over 73,000. 
Um, our downtown area is actually located about 10 minutes away from campus um, by walking. So students are going to be able to eat at the local restaurants, um, do shopping at our local stores, um, as well as seeing live music and enjoying the food trucks um, that we have. So we also do lots of cultural events um, all over campus, as well as in the Missoula community. And we're very well known for the outdoor recreation. So the hiking, biking, fishing, skiing and snowboarding, all those kinds of things. Um, so the numbers of UM, we've got about 8,500 undergraduates, about 10,000, including our graduate programs. Um, we have over 170 academic pathways, so that's majors, minors, and certificates. Um, most of our classes are going to have 30 students or less with a 13 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So you're really going to be able to get to know your professors, your faculty mentors, teaching assistants, um, as well as peers. So you're going to have all of those resources to kind of help you get through your program. Um, so academics, we have six colleges on campus. We have anything from business, education, health sciences, forestry, the arts, anything that students are interested in. We also have Missoula College, so that is going to house our associates programs. So for students maybe interested in welding, um, culinary arts, paralegal studies, things like that. And then we do have the only fully accredited law school here in Montana. Um, so academic opportunities, we really want to focus um, on getting our students kind of those opportunities before they graduate and enter the workforce or before they enter grad school or med school or anything else. Um, so with those, we allow students to participate in research um, on and off campus, as well as making sure that they're able to get internships so they can do those on campus, off campus, um, in Montana, even nationally and internationally. Um, so one of the biggest things um, is study abroad. We have over 250 partner universities in over 58 countries. So students really have the opportunity to go kind of anywhere they're interested in um, and take courses, get internships, or conduct research at um, an institute somewhere else. Um, so our admissions requirements, um, we do ask that students meet one of two, either have above a 2.5 cumulative unweighted high school GPA or be in their top half of their graduating class. Um, we also are enrolling admission, so we technically don't have a deadline um, for our application and we're not requiring any essays or letters of recommendation in the application as are completely test optional moving forward. So we don't require ACT or SATs, um, but if students take them, we do recommend they submit them for additional scholarship opportunities. So estimated cost of attendance, um, for those of you um, in Texas, you're going to be looking at that out of state. Um, what's important to note about this cost is it doesn't include any scholarships or financial aid. So that is ultimately the most expensive price you would ever see. Um, so we have different scholarship opportunities. The main one is incoming student scholarships. These are automatic. So once a student submits their application, um, based on their GPA, we can automatically award them a scholarship renewable for up to four years. We also have our scholarship portal, which is all of UM's donor-based scholarships. So these are based on major, um, financial need-based, merit-based, and they are stackable on top of those merit-based scholarships. We also have some within our Davidson Honors College that students are eligible to be considered for if they apply for the DHC before that first Friday in December. Um, so over there in the non-resident category, um, if a student has an approximation of their GPA, they could see what they're eligible for, um, for that academic year renewable for four years. Um, we also, um, are enrolling FAFSA. So that means that students can um, essentially submit a FAFSA at any point um, if they're looking for something that financial aid. Um, but our priority deadline is going to be December 1st. Um, we have over 200 student clubs and groups on campus. So these are different things like academic groups. We have volunteer based groups, fraternity and sorority involvement, intramural sports. Um, what's really cool is that if a student doesn't find something they're interested in, they actually have the opportunity to create their own group. Um, so we have lots of groups for all different kinds of interests. Um, for athletics, we are a division one school. Um, so we are gonna have things like basketball, football, soccer, tennis, track and field. If anyone likes to watch sports, we definitely have it. Um, but um, for those of you that maybe sports aren't your thing, you're going to notice that um, when people are at sporting events, your favorite restaurants, theaters, um, different things like that are going to be a little bit quieter. And then this is my contact information. Um, so if you have any other questions, um, 
about the application process or scholarships, anything like that, you can just give me a call or send me an email and I'd be happy to reach out to you. All right, hey, thanks. Um, oh, there's Peyton from UNLV. You are um, ready and going. Um, you, you don't need any introduction. You're all good there. Here we go. All right, uh, Peyton. Off awesome. You go. Thank you so much. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Peyton, and I'm an admissions counselor here at UNLV, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. So we did just rank um, as number one most diverse campuses in the US news, um, tied with a couple other schools. And so this map kind of just shows some of the diversity that we have on our campus. In a typical year, we have students joining us from about 83 different countries. The larger the dot, the more students we get from that area. And so obviously a lot from um, the United States as well as Southeast Asia. Okay, so um, we do have about 300 undergraduate and graduate majors um, to offer you here at UNLV. And so they're all housed within 16 colleges, which are listed on the screen. So just to go into a few, we do have the number one business school in the state of Nevada um, because we are one of the only, um, you know, we are the only university in Southern Nevada. And so oftentimes our business students are graduating with many job offers because there's not a lot of competition for them here um, in the local Las Vegas area. We do have a really good dental program um, if you're looking to go into dental after your undergraduate experience. Our engineering department is rapidly growing and I'll talk about some other experiences within engineering in a minute. And um, we do have the number one hospitality program in the nation um, and about number two in the world. And so it's a pretty big deal here in Las Vegas as we have a lot of hospitality opportunities here in our backyard. Um, anything to do with events, to do um, events, restaurant management, hotel management, anything like that, um, we do have the program for it. And then our medical school is rapidly growing right now. We just broke ground on another um, medical facility. And so um, there's a lot of expansions happening there. And then in the recent years, we've seen a big increase in our urban affairs college as students really enjoy criminal justice, journalism, um, anything like that. Awesome. So we have a lot of um, academic opportunities for you at UNLV. The first one study abroad. So in a typical year, we have study abroad opportunities in about 83 different countries. Um, and so we have a lot of study abroad opportunities for you to take advantage of um, any financial aid, scholarships, or um, grants that you get will travel with you. And so it's oftentimes the cheapest and most efficient way for students to travel and really get exposed to different countries. We have a lot of unique academic programs. So those are gonna be some of those engineering programs, just kind of programs throughout all of our colleges, um, but the engineering ones specifically, entertainment, engineering and design, entertainment, technology and design. These are really interesting programs that are gonna be um, kind of merging fine arts and engineering together. We are a tier one research institution, which means we're performing the cutting edge of research, which means that you as a student can perform and participate in research starting your freshman year, um, which is gonna be really, really important if you're looking to go to professional school. And then almost all of our programs are gonna require an internship. And so we often see our students are taking multiple internships if they're able to, because um, it's a great way to kind of get your foot in the door with corporations. We do have a lot of fun things that are happening on our campus as well. So clubs and organizations, we have about 400 clubs and organizations. So if you want to get involved in Greek life or you want to join a club that's going to be associated with your major, or you want to join the Pizza Enthusiast Club, which kind of tries all the pizza in Las Vegas, um, we kind of have something for everyone. We do have NCAA Division I athletics um, and students will get free admissions into any of our home games as well. And so that's a really fun thing to go and participate in watching. Additionally, we do have intramural sports as well if you want to play. Um, if you're not from the Las Vegas area, which many of you are not going to be or haven't been here before, we do have a lot of opportunities here besides just the Strip. We are only a mile and a half off the Strip, um, so many of our campus views our views of the Strip as like the one behind me. Um, however, there's a lot of other things here. There's a lot of music and art festivals that happen around our campus. We're very close to the Hoover Dam, as well as Lake Mead, which is one of the largest man-made lakes in the country. Um, Mount Charleston is that picture on the very bottom right-hand corner. There is snow there in the wintertime, and so we kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, pretty good weather, about sunny, about 320 days a year, but we also can get snow if we want to. We do have Red Rock, which is a national recreation area, kind of like a state park with great hiking as well. And then at the bottom are five of the sports teams that we have here in Las Vegas. For general admissions requirements, we are looking for a 3.0 GPA in your high school core classes. If you don't have that 3.0 GPA, we can't admit you on test scores, but we are test optional. And so for test scores, we're looking for an 1120 SAT or a 22 ACT. And then if you're transferring, we're looking for a 2.5 GPA and at least 24 or more credits. 
The annual cost to attend as an out-of-state student is going to be about $25,000 for full tuition, being a full-time student. However, that is not um, looking at any scholarships or anything like that. We do have regional scholarships for folks living in Texas. Additionally, we have merit-based scholarships that will be just based on your GPA. We have need-based scholarships as well as program scholarships if you know what you want to study going into your first year. Our application is open currently, um, and the deadline for priority consideration is going to be November 15th for the most amount of scholarships and financial aid, but ultimately our rolling admissions process will be open until about June 1st, and then transfer is going to be July 1 for fall and December 1 for spring. Um, and then if you ever get out to campus, we do have campus tours two days a week. Additionally, we do have virtual tours as well that happen every day if you are interested in that. Um, and then if you're interested in seeing what it's like to be a day in the life of a student here at UNLV, feel free to follow us on social media. We do a lot of student takeovers as well as just kind of captivating the events that are happening on campus. And then additionally, I will drop my contact information in the chat as well. All right. Hey, thanks, um, Peyton. Um, Malia. Oh, there you are. Awesome. From the University of Oregon. And you're all there. Uh, Gold and green. Um, all right. All right. I'm ready. All right. Thank you yeah. so much. Okay, I'll take it away. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, my name is Malia Tejedas, and I am in the Missions Council from the University of Oregon. I'm happy to be here today and talk to you a little bit about what makes the U of O unique. We are located in Eugene, Oregon. So um, that is the second largest city in Oregon. It is an absolutely beautiful city um, located right in the heart of the middle of I-5, which is basically the western side of Oregon has the most of the activity happening in Oregon. I suppose the eastern side is a little bit more desert and rural. Um, we are uh, in Eugene as far as location and, and transportability. We are, have access to two airports. So if you are flying into uh, to the U of O, you can fly into Eugene. You can also fly into Portland, which is the largest city in, the, in Oregon. Eugene is certainly known for outdoor recreation. So if you are interested at all in hiking, mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding, surfing, um, kayaking, Eugene is a great place because you have access to the outdoors within an hour of campus. So we're an hour from the Oregon coast, we're an hour from the Cascade Mountains, we're about three hours from the California-Oregon border, and two hours from Portland, which is the largest city. We're also ranked the number one green city and based on factors of air quality, recycling, bike transportation, and other things. So if you like clean air um, and you like a, a really sustainable way of living, Eugene is a great place to be. There are, there's free public transportation around Eugene for all U of O students. So a lot of students will ask, well, how do I come out there? Should I bring a car? It's really easy to get around campus and Eugene. Um, a lot of students will walk, bike, or skateboard around campus, and you get a free bus pass as a student. So it's easy to get to Target or Fred Meyer, or any of the large stores that you might want to get to. And if you need transportation to Portland, for example, you decide you want to fly into the Portland airport, we have a shuttle that runs between Eugene and Portland. You'll notice that um, Eugene, uh, Oregon in general has a reputation of having a lot of rain, right? Um, we actually get all four seasons really prominently in Oregon. So we have an absolutely beautiful picturesque fall. We have a, a very fairly mild winter with sometimes getting snow on the valley floor. We also have, we do have a rainy season and then we have probably the most picturesque, beautiful summer you could imagine. The nice thing about our campus is you'll notice even on this next slide, there's a lot of blue sky in Oregon. Um, so it's really great that you get to take advantage of all of not only just the outdoor activities, but you really can take advantage of anything in Oregon throughout the year and the rain would not hinder you. Um, on campus, so this is kind of an aerial image of campus, we have about 18,000 undergraduate students, about 22,000 students total on our campus. We are um, a tier one research university. So that means you have opportunities to conduct research in any field that you're interested in. We have students working to help cities meet their sustainability goals or to document native languages. And we really are a proud to be a member of the Association of American Universities. This is a very prestigious designation that really puts the U of O in the top 2% of public universities across the country. So one of the things we really love about our campus is that we have students represented on campus from all 50 states and over 100 countries worldwide. 
So when you are a U of O student, not only do you, are you, will you maybe run into another student from your high school on campus, but you're also going to be sitting in the classroom with students from California and Florida and Maine and Japan and India. We really value that global experience inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. We do have hundreds of academic programs, but a lot of students will ask, you know, well, Malia, what's the most, what are your most popular programs? We, um, these are some of the majors that we're really well known for, the majors that were top enrolled. But I will say, you know, because we are a liberal arts university, we have majors in all different areas. And I think one of the things we always encourage students to remember is you don't have to know what you want to study when you come to the U of O. You can start out undecided and take plenty of time to figure out what it is that you're passionate about and want to, want to do for a career. Anybody who's visited Eugene before or the campus has noticed there is always something to get involved in at the U of O. We have a really, really active student body. We have over 300 clubs and organizations to get involved in. We're a division one sports school, so you may have heard of the Oregon Ducks. We're really, um, we love uh, not just our varsity level sports, but club sports and our mural sports. We have service opportunities and leadership opportunities. We do have Greek life if you wanna join a sorority or fraternity. And we have clubs that are just for fun. We have clubs that are focused on academics. We really find that it's important in your first year to really get you connected with a community on campus. So I wanna talk for just a minute about applying to the U of O. Um, a lot of students will ask, you know, Malia, I've got a 3.1 GPA and what are my chances of getting into the U of O? And it's a really complex question for us to answer because we conduct what's called a holistic review. So what that means is that we're looking at all these different factors when you apply for admission. And there's really no one factor that is more important than another. So it's important, you know, we wanna look at your grade trends, how you're doing progressively throughout high school, your core classes, you know, four years of English, three years of math, science, and social science, two years of a foreign language. You know, did you pass all those with a C minus or better or a passing grade? We also, for test scores, I wanna note that we are test optional permanently for admission. We, uh, we are not requiring test scores for scholarships for this, this incoming class either. So it is important to know you can take the test, but you absolutely don't have to. So these are really all of the things that we're looking at for admission. I do wanna know our deadlines. We do have one coming up, but that November 1st deadline is really just a matter of when you'll hear back from us. You could hear back from us sooner if you apply by November 1st, but the deadline you don't wanna miss is January 15th. That's our admission and scholarship deadline. And then lastly, I just want to highlight, we have a number of different scholarships available, including full ride scholarships. So I would definitely encourage you to check out our scholarship webpage. We have scholarships for merit, we have scholarships for financial need, and we have scholarships um, that are automatic. So I would encourage you um, to use this QR code. We actually have two um, Texas-based counselors that live in different areas of Texas and find your admissions counselor by entering your zip code. And we look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Malia. Appreciate it. Thanks you so much. Um, uh, Brianna, are you there? There you are. Great. So take it over and off you go. Thank you. Awesome. Well, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name's Brianna. I'm an admissions counselor at Western Oregon University. Uh, we are, we were funded in 1856. We're the oldest public university in Oregon. We're located in Monmouth, Oregon, which is 15 miles away um, from Salem, about 63 miles away from Portland. Um, we're in a small college town. Um, we are a small school. We have about 4,500 students enrolled at Western. Our average class size is 19 to 22 students per classroom. Um, to the fun part, our admissions requirements for incoming freshmen is that you must have a 2.75 GPA. Um, in order for you to get that 2.75, you need to pass um, your high school classes with um, a C minus or better. Uh, we do not require ACTs or the SATs. Um, also, if you choose to transfer to Western, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, our GPA requirement for transfer students is a 2.25 um, and then have at least 36 transferable quarter hours or 24 semester hours. Um, so it's just depending on what school you're attending. Um, 
it's really easy to apply for our students. Um, we just, they have to fill out our application online, which is just going wou.edu slash apply. Um, our application for fall 2022 is waived, so you do not have to pay a new application fee. All you have to do is fill out the application, send over your official transcripts to us. Um, we've always been a rolling admissions um, office, but now we have what's called the priority deadline, um, which is January 15th, that if you apply beforehand or on January 15th, you're guaranteed to get an answer from us on time so that way you can apply for scholarships, which our deadline for scholarship is March 1st. So that's why we always encourage students right now to apply, um, get it out of the way so that way they have time to work on their scholarships. Um, so we have this program, um, which is the Texas Tuition or the Western Undergraduate Exchange um, Program, which where we give our students a reduced tuition, um, practically you can say 50% off, and we let our students as well apply for scholarships. And this is where I'm talking about um, tuition and fees. Um, if you would, out-of-state students pay almost $30,000, but um, Texas tuition students um, pay half of that, which is $14,499, which is $4,000 more than an Oregon resident. First year is gonna be your most expensive year because you are required to live on campus and room and boarding is $10,803, so a total of $25,302. Um, so you can also, like I said, you're going to get that Texas tuition, which saves you a lot of money. Also, you can apply for scholarships. Um, our scholarships are right here to the right side, um, which is our presidential, which is a merit-based um, scholarship. Um, you automatically receive it if you have a 3.6 GPA or higher. Um, it ranges from $1,000 to $4,000. Um, from there, we have the general scholarship, which that one's starting at 1,000. Um, that one you do have to apply every single year, even when you're a student at Western. Um, and then from there, we have our biggest scholarship, which is our diversity commitment scholarship. That one is $6,000 $6, renewable for five years. It's just answering two questions um, and then um, just kind of filling out the rest of the other questions. Um, from there, we also, for those students that want to become a bilingual teacher, we also have the bilingual teacher scholarship, which is up to $3,000, also renewable for five years. Um, you just have to maintain a 2.0 GPA at Western to continue receiving those two scholarships. Um, we have more scholarships as well. Um, you can always go to wou.edu slash finaid, and that way you can search more into our um, scholarship opportunities. Um, also remember that our deadline is March 1st. From there, our academic programs, we used to be just an education institution. Now we have over 50 uh, majors and minors. Our most popular one is education. Um, from there, we have business, criminal justice, psychology, computer science, exercise science, biology, pre-nursing, and then American Sign Language Studies. So those are some of our few most popular majors that we have at Western. We have way more than that too. For those students that are, are interested in sports, we're NCAA Division II for athletics. Um, a cool thing that we are going to be having for next fall is that we'll be having a soccer team for men um, that is coming for fall 2022. So we're really excited for those students that like to play soccer. Um, we will be having it. If you have any questions about any kind of sport or um, any scholarship opportunities, you're more than welcome to contact our um, coaches. They can help you answer any kind of questions and stuff like that. You can always go to wouwolves.com and they can answer your questions. From there, we have students of um, service and support. Um, we have different departments to help our students when it comes to academic advising, to peer mentors, to tutoring, um, to any other accommodations you need. There's the Office of Disabilities. Um, we also have the Multicultural Student Services and Programs that work with our diversity, bilingual, and on-track students. Um, we also have the service learning and career development that help you with your um, academic advice, career advice, as well as um, hands-on experience, internships, um, community service. They got you covered. They have all these different things that you can do. That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, you're more more than welcome to join our contact list by scanning that QR. I will also be adding my information onto the chat box. So thank you so much. All right, thank you. Um, so um, we actually have a bit of time. Um, I'll ask one question to the entire panel crew. Please come back online and on camera. Uh, perfect. 
Wait on for one more. Perfect. All right. So all right. Awesome. So um, here's a question. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to share it on the screen, but I'm going to try. All right. So I hope you all can see the purple screen. The what one thing you you would want students to remember about your school. Can you all see that? Great. So in presentation order, Derek, Jerica, Peyton, Malia, and Brianna. So Derek, you're up first. Go ahead and tackle that question, please. Sure. Uh, just one thing to remember about Pacific, if you're looking for that smaller school where you can do four or five or six different things all at the same time and not just have to focus in on one major and still be able to explore Pacific Northwest, um, we'd love to have you come up here and become a boxer. Great. Next. Jerica. Yeah, um, I guess one thing um, would really just kind of be that balance between everything. Um, kind of like Derek said, um, being able to be in an academic program that you're interested and passionate about, um, while also being able to spend your free time in the outdoors, join the clubs that you're really interested in, um, meet friends in your major, um, that live on campus, we kind of provide students with all of those opportunities um, so that they can have a really well-rounded college experience. Peyton. I would say for UNLV, it's the opportunities that we have in our backyard, being the strip um, and all of our city around us. And so really utilizing the opportunities that we have um, and just recognizing that it's a big university in a city and it's kind of the best of both worlds. Malia. Yeah, I think I would say that, you know, we are uh, being a top ranked public institution, I would say, you know, outside of the academics, which is important to focus on the spirit at the U of O is unmatched. Um, when you walk down the walk to Autzen Stadium across the footbridge to a football game on a Saturday, there is no nothing like the energy. And it's not just related to sports, you know, it's also related to um, music and dance and art, and you will find an energy that is just truly unmatched on our campus. So we hope you come, come check it out. All right, great. Well, that one, um, Brianna? Yes. There? Yeah, there you go. Yes. So for us, if you're looking for that smaller university, you know, kind of getting kind of that private but paying that public were that school for you. It's a really small school and it's just, it's that perfect fit. All right, great. Um, thank you, everyone. Let me grab one last thing off this and then we will end it and log it off. Um, one last thing, excellent. All right, please be patient here. Um, Google, Google is not being kind. Um, there we go. All right, perfect. All right, sorry, y'all. Um, so let me end this by saying this. Um, first, thank you for joining us. Um, so when you end this particular session, there will be a survey that we will ask for you to complete. Um, there are actually no more sessions to sign up for, so don't worry about that. Um, and the recording of this session will be at that URL address below, strivescan.com backslash Texas. Okay. Uh, let me stop this. Let me stop the actual, there we go. Um, all right, I am gonna ask, um, and we're all there. Great, awesome. So I'm just gonna ask for us to end and wave the audience off tonight. Um, you all have been wonderful. You all have been great. Um, thank you so much for spending, um, I'm again, not sure where you are, but late night on a Wednesday uh, with us. Um, we appreciate the time, the effort um, and the energy. 
Um, so at any rate, um, let's uh, just say good night. Um, well, we yep, wave good night. And uh, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Good night now.